Hey guys, welcome back to House of Organic Beauty. Sorry, it's been a long time since I've posted a video. I've been very busy um, with my clients. You know, I do hair and then with the products. So in this video, I will be creating a Ayurvedic scalp balm and Ayurvedic hair butter, okay? So I'm not gonna talk too much in this video. I will like chime in here and there explaining what I am doing, okay? So in the previous clip, you saw that I do have the water, water boiling, so I'm using the double boiling method to melt down the waxes and the butters that I will be using in this video. So this is the Elipe butter. So most of these ingredients I'll be using for both the hair butter and the scalp grease. So this is the cocoa butter. So this avocado butter is my first time using it. It is very soft, but I heard avocado butter is really good for your hair and scalp, so I decided to use it. So Kokum butter is one of my favorite butters, along with Elipa butter and of course Shea butter. Those are my staple butters, guys. Um, Kokum butter and Elipe butter is rock hard, okay? But the consistency that your butter will come out will be amazing. I love thick butters and moisturizers, so those are the perfect blend. And of course my famous Shea butter, I use in everything. I've been using Shea butter since I don't even know. It's been 10 plus years now. I use it on my kids. It's just a staple for sure. If I don't have any butter, I have to have shea butter, period. So now I'll be using the Candelilla wax. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. This will go in the um, hair grease that I am making. This <laughs> looks like I don't even know, like, if you're Haitian, it kind of looks like Maimulin, but it's very, very flaky. So all of these ingredients that I am incorporating are ingredients that are very powerful for the hair and scalp, okay? Um, some people say that herbs and stuff don't grow your hair or oils and butters don't grow your hair. Listen, my oldest daughter, her hair was always on the thick, thin side. It was never thin, but it wasn't as thick as, as it is now. I've been doing a hot oil treatment for her and like and using all these herbs, and her hair has gotten so thick. Her scalp is almost never dirty. <laughs> like, she doesn't have dandruff or anything like that since I've been pre-pooing her hair, and it's been about like a year and a half now. So if you look at my other videos or shorts, you will see the transformation when it comes to my kids hair so I am not new to this I am true to this when it comes to growing hair and I have growing hands as well so <laughs> so you have to definitely make sure that these herbs that you are incorporating like if you want to do a DIY for yourself make sure that the herbs go with your hair okay what may go with our hair or what may work for our hair may not work for your hair and you could definitely be allergic to some of the herbs that are mentioned or that you see in this video okay I don't use aloe anymore because my husband is allergic to it and I think 
it's not going well with my hair. I, I believe so. Um, it causes hair shed for me. and But aloe is a staple for most. So test out these herbs before you, know, you start putting a whole bunch of stuff in your hair. Pre-pooing, aka hot oil treatment, is not for everybody as well. It works for my oldest daughter. It works for me too, but I find that it works better on her hair because her hair just like butter and oils. My hair likes water-based, more water-based leave-in conditioners and stuff. Um, and it does like oils and butters as well. But yeah, just do what works for you and your hair. Okay, just because it works for everybody else, that does not mean it will work for you, unfortunately. And a little goes a long way too, so yeah. So basically, I decided to make these butters because I just wanted to um, just try something new, okay? Um, so I am incorporating a whole bunch of goodies in these recipes. before I forget to mention I am eyeballing this recipe okay I am winging it I've been winging it my whole life okay <laughs> when it comes to these DIY hair products the hair products that I do get from like different youtubers of course I follow their recipe but when I'm making my own I like to play um I like to play with my recipes and I like to just wing it and it always works out for me so yeah and i also do have my own butter and oils that i do have for purchase on my website at www.houseoforganicbeauty.com so make sure you check that out Okay, so everything is combined now I will be putting it on the stove where it will melt I think I left it in for like maybe about 30 to 45 minutes I um, covered it and went about my business came back refrigerated it whipped it and yeah So everything is melted. I believe this is the um, this is the hair grease. Okay, I'll be stringing it and then putting it into these little two ounce aluminum containers. I did save the herb so I can use it in the future, probably like two more times. You see how rich and potent this was, okay? So this is the butter. I'll be putting a lid on it and then I'll be refrigerating it. It took like literally, I feel like it took um, about 
eight hours to solidify a little bit but that's okay i wasn't in a rush so yeah on to the hair grease So my apologies in advance, I did not press play when I was putting the um, liquid into the containers, but here is an idea on what I did. It is still hot, okay? I just let it sit. There's no mixing needed. Um, I ended up adding the um, vitamin E oil after. Okay, so when you see it in a solidified version, you will see a little greasy spot. That's the vitamin E. I didn't want to add it when it was piping hot. So yeah, that's what that was. So right now I am whipping. As you can see, it was very loose. So I had to put it back in the refrigerator and now it got thicker. And then you're going to see that it's going to get whiter in color or lighter in color. And this is it. Yep. So my daughter, she decided to help me pipe it inside um, of the containers that I will be storing the butter in. It is nice and fluffy. You don't necessarily have to whip your butter. You can leave it as is and let it get hardened that way. But to get more and to distribute the butter better into your hair, it's better when you whip it, okay? But you don't have to necessarily whip it. So this was about a pound of butter, I believe. So I got probably like six, five to six containers um, from this batch. No lie guys, when I be seeing people pipe their butters, yo, it is so satisfying. I almost licked my butter, okay? Forgetting that it's not edible, honey. But, uh, I had to refrain. Whew. So I had to zoom in to let you guys see it in close up. You see all the little herbs that is in this butter. <sighs> yummy, yummy. So yeah, we're done packaging it. Um, I'll let you guys know um, whether or not I'll be selling these. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys like this video and have a blessed day. Bye. Check out my store.